The practice of the accountancy profession in Kenya dates back to 1904, when two British practitioners, Jill and Johnson, set up a firm aiming at providing financial services to British and Indian nationals who were settling in the then East African Protectorate. It was not until the 1st of July 1977 when the Accountants Act was enacted. A year later, specifically on 17th November 1978, the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya was established. As we celebrate the 40 years, I must first of all appreciate the, the past leadership, the 21 past chairmen of ISPAC and their councils, and our senior members who, who have dedicated their time, because I do appreciate that they, they made tougher decisions when they end easier choices to make. And it is because of that that uh, today we, we, can, we can highlight key milestones which uh, as an institute we can celebrate today. Uh, East Park was uh, established by an act of parliament 40 years ago in 1978 uh, through the Accountants Act which gave birth to three institutions that is uh, ISPAC and uh, the Registration of Accountants Board, RAB, and CASNEP, the examining body. And uh, it is from that that the, we started Registration of Accountants and our first member, FCPA Wilson Ongot, Ongot, Ongot was registered uh, the same year. Through debate and consensus, we are able to agree that let us launch the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya as a unifying body. I'm happy to say that we, young as we were, were able to start on that very sound footing where we started as one united institute. I'm very proud of that. It took consensus building, it took a lot of uh, discussion uh, for people to agree that that's the way to go. The other uh, aspect that I'm very, very proud of is that very soon after we were launched, we recognized the need to get international recognition by international bodies that uh, administer and regulate matters of this profession. And very soon we applied to, to become members of the International Federation of Accountants and also members of the International Standards Account Committee. And I'm happy to say now we, we are full members of these very key international bodies. I'm proud of that, very happy with that. Actually, ISPAC was inaugurated in 1978, and uh, this was done by, um, to address three specific challenges that the profession was facing in this country. One, there weren't enough accountants. There weren't enough local accountants. Two, there wasn't a local body that was responsible for financial matters. And three, the profession locally was, had lots of expatriates. So there was need for the country to have its own local body that would address the issues relating to financial management of this country. And so, by through the guidance of the Vice President, the then Vice President and Finance Minister, Honorable Mwai Kibaki, a working group was created whose agenda was basically to address those challenges. With a vision of a world-class professional accountancy institute and a mission to develop and promote internationally recognized accountancy profession that upholds public interest through effective regulation, research and innovation, ISPAC has grown tremendously and has achieved noticeable milestones in its 40-year journey. ISPAC is uh, now celebrating its 40 years. There's a lot to be proud about the Institute. I think the first is the role ISPAC has played in the development of the accounting profession in this country. When I joined the Institute uh, quite some years back, I'm actually trying to remember, it's almost 20 years ago, only about 3,000 members of the of the institute and today there are more than 20,000 members 
and Kenya is one of those countries in the region where we are not short of qualified accounting professionals. I think the second uh, major uh, milestone is the manner in which ISPAC has professionalized itself as a well-run, well-managed, uh, well-governed uh, body, which is a body that is to be emulated by other professional uh, associations. Uh, the third is the role the Institute has played in the development of a regulatory environment for the accounting profession in, in this country. And, and the fourth is the role ISPAC has played and its uh, major milestone with the CPA Center at its, uh, at its headquarters. Professional body regulates the profession in terms of the standards of practice. And those are standards that are, are applied worldwide be it in the area of uh, auditing or in the area of the financial reporting and, in, and indeed in the other areas of ethical guidelines. So the, the professional body has got a mandate to ensure that those standards are complied with because we're not just operating in, in a vacuum but rather within a regulated profession worldwide. So it is important that ISPAC um, as a professional body helps the members to comply with those standards. That's number one. Number two, also as a professional body, it is our responsibility to ensure that our members are up to date with the developments in the profession uh, through what we call continuous professional development. It is only through the CPD that our members are able to maintain their relevance in the profession. ISPAC mandate include regulating accountants as well as licensing accountancy firms in Kenya. The Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya was started in the year 1978. And its main role is actually to regulate uh, the accountancy profession through an act of parliament that was enacted uh, in 1978 and now repealed, was repealed in 2008 through Accountants Act number 15. The main role of the institute is to be able to, one, prescribe standards in accountancy and auditing and two, to be able to regulate members who get into the profession, to be able to provide with them with a requisite uh, continuous professional development, as well as regulate them to ensure that there's compliance and also carry out disciplinary measures in where there are malpractices within our members. We are also very much focused on um building capacity in other institutes in, in, in Africa and uh, we are highly recognized and uh, ISPAC particularly uh, has been used, has been um, very instrumental in the uh, development of the Institute of Accountants in Rwanda. It has been very instrumental in the development of the Institute of Accountants in Burundi and uh, we, we are discussing something on, on Sudan and uh, generally even the other East African institutes, that is Tanzania and Uganda. We, we play a very key role because we, 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 we are the, the mother institute in East Africa and uh, we continue to, to support other institutes. In 1986, the institute established the Best Presented Accounts Competition BPCA Awards for the Best Presented Accounts. The awards were held between 1986 to 2001 when it was changed to financial reporting via awards in 2002. The overall winner, Financial Reporting Award 2018. This was a major success and in 2003, Capital Markets Authority, the Nairobi Securities Exchange and the Public Sector Accountants Standard Board partnered with ISPAC as joint promoters of FIRE Awards. The award seeks to enhance credibility of financial processes while promoting financial reports being of ISPAC in 1977 through legislation is the biggest milestone because it created the body. There have been other milestones and for me the adoption of uh, international financial reporting standards uh, or the, at that time they, they used to be international accounting standards was a major milestone because it brought the profession in Kenya, the, the, the body, the, I mean ISPAC in Kenya the world standard, adopting international accounting standards, and which later became international financial reporting standards. The, the adoption of a disciplinary process, the adoption of a practice review, 
um, and the, the, the recognition of the profession so that one, a member of ISPA can, join, can become a member of another international body is also a major, a ma a major milestone in, the, in, in ISPA uh, in this country. Because now you can become a member of other bodies, that worldwide recognition. The Institute operates nine branches countrywide. The branches are meant to bring services closer to members while at the same time offering a platform for engaging with county governments at local level. The Institute also runs three international chapters in South Africa, United Kingdom and Australia. As an institute, you're proud first to be able to mention that we are regarded as the second best uh, institute in Africa. Uh, the institute that is ahead of us is the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants. But even with that, we are proud to be able to say that we have an international brand that is well recognized out there. And to be able to showcase this is that we are in what we call a mutual recognition agreement whereby between the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants and the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya, members can be able to be able to get membership across, whether in Kenya or in South Africa, and be able to practice uh, in either of the countries. On CSR, ISPAC runs a scholarship program targeting bright and disadvantaged students through which they pursue university education in finance and accounting related courses. So far, nine students have benefited from this program. I'm sponsored by ISPAC. I study in Multimedia University of Kenya and I'm going a uh, Bachelor of Commerce course. I started in September 2016 and I'm going to finish the course in 2020, December. The first review of the Amendment Act was done in 2008 and the second one in August 2018. The Accountants Act was amended and brought forth new changes such as definition of an accountant, introduction of a remuneration order and requirements for the registration of trainee accountants. We have amended the Accountants Act and uh, the new Accountants Act expects that all the students who are pursuing accountants will also be members of this bank. In as much as um, we are not asking for any subscription fees, I think we, expe we expect the, the, the membership to grow from the current 23,000 to not less than 50,000 members. And again, that, uh, that, is, that, is, that, is, that is good for the, for, the, for the Institute because we are going to track these members, we are going to develop them, and uh, we are, of course, going to regulate them. And finally, once they, they qualify, they, 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 they complete the, the CP exams, they will become full members. And, uh, and that counts in the future of the profession. And most of the service uh, into ISPAC membership was voluntary. And even to have members uh, volunteer their services is not an easy thing. But this is one profession in which the members have volunteered their services to date. Uh, to be able to establish a vibrant, high-profiled uh, institute that we are now. Um, apart from that, the various programs that the institute put in place to ensure that it serves its members so that members get glued and get passionate about the profession and their institute is what has cultivated a, a very vibrant and growing institute. As a matter of fact, uh, ISPAC is the, one of the fastest growing institutes in the world, registering a thousand members every year. Today, ISPAC is credited for founding KCA University, successfully constructing a CPA center along Thika Road and maintaining an eye-growing membership portfolio which currently stands at over 20,000 members based locally and internationally. I have been a member of the institute since inception. Uh, I was amongst the first lot of CPAs uh, that qualified in 1973. The Secretariat was particularly weak. We did not have uh, space. We used to be housed for meetings 
in the offices of partners, professional firms, the larger professional firms. And uh, one of the commitments uh, during uh, my leadership was to strengthen the secretariat so that the institute itself could become a brand rather than accountants uh, being branded on the basis of the firms to which they belonged. And I think that has uh, contributed significantly to the growth of the institute. ISPAC advises the examination board on matters relating to examination standards and policy. ISPAC uh, was established uh, under the Accountants Act, CAP 531 of 19. 77. Um, it was launched by uh, the then uh, His Excellency uh, President Mwai Kibake. He was a minister uh, for finance. Um, obviously, the culmination of uh, ISPAC uh, arose from the fact that uh, the examinations body, uh, CASNEP, had uh, uh, graduated quite a number of uh, uh, persons. Uh, and uh, these persons needed a home, uh, and, and, and that home was then uh, established as uh, ICPK. I believe that since then it has been all systems go. As ISPAC marks its 40th anniversary this year, as it continues to uphold public interest and embracing its vision of becoming a world-class professional accountancy institute premised on its values of credibility, professionalism, and accountability. We have a noble profession, a profession that will be there now and into the future. People need information and information has to be provided in a way that will be understood and in a way that informs decision making. That can only come from a well-developed profession that articulates and puts the information together. And as a, as a profession, we are proud that this is a profession that informs any other decision, whether you're looking at budgets, whether you're looking at dividends, whether you're looking at financial statements, or whether you're looking at the operations of any given entity, then you need to be able to look at the accountancy profession. I'm very committed. I'm committed to, to make sure that ISPAC uh, becomes an institute which all the 20,000 accountants are going to be proud of.